Virginia's Republicans let it be known today that they're fed up with the Democratic leadership in the White House and they're ready for a change. That change, they point out, is the election of Ronald Reagan as the next president of the United States. For 10 minutes, shouts, claps, and a parade of Reagan placards preceded a speech to the convention by Reagan's daughter, Maureen, who said she was confident Virginia would lead her sister southern states to a Republican victory in November. Before her speech, Governor Dalton had roused the audience when he called for the need for a good Republican at the helm in Washington. Now, we all remember the presidential candidate who in 1976 promised us someone we could believe in. But what does the record show? It shows that last year he canceled the B-1 bomber, he canceled the nuclear carrier, and he put the neutron bomb in mothballs. A couple of months ago, he told us he needed more money to beef up the military. And then he turned around and opposed a budget resolution in Congress because it provided more money for defense and less for welfare programs. Earlier, New York Congressman Jack Kemp, a Reagan staffer, said Reagan is the only one who can turn this nation around. I think the American people in 1980 recognize that the choice is not really a campaign for presidency. Governor Reagan is not running a campaign against Jimmy Carter. He's running a crusade for America, make this nation great again, and restore the type of rewards and incentives and hope that the American people want. In other action, Virginia selected 51 delegates and 51 alternates to attend the GOP's national convention in Detroit this summer, and all are expected to be solid for Reagan. Ava Hurdle, Area Tonight Witness News, Richmond.